What up party people, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Rampant Movie Trailer 01 Premiere Pro template. That's right, these are Premiere Pro templates that are coming out right now. These are not After Effects project files or dynamic link files or anything with plugins or anything like that. This is just a straight up Premiere Pro project file. Meaning you open up the file, you put in your footage, you change the type and you hit export. That's the idea here, folks. We're trying to save you time and money. All right, so before we jump into Premiere Pro, let's quickly go to the Finder if you're on a Mac or Windows Explorer if you're on a PC. And all I need you to do is find your project file. So when you unzip the project file, when you download it from Rampant, you're going to see a handful of files. Uh, you're going to see the Premiere Pro project file itself. Can't really do anything without it. And you're going to see our Premiere template installation PDF file. Uh, open it up real quick. It just really quickly talks about uh, what you need to do. I mean, it's so easy that literally step one is unzip the project file. Step two is double click on it. Now here's the only caveat. Our templates work in uh, uh, Premiere Pro CC 2014 and above, meaning uh, if you're 2014, 2015, or 2017 uh, or above, you're good to go. If you're earlier than 2014, meaning CC or CS6 or earlier, you're out of luck. I'm sorry, we're only uh, catering to uh, CC 2014 and above uh, because for the most part, we're use, utilizing uh, tech that's not available in the earlier versions. Uh, it also tells you what our favorite fonts are, if you want to use uh, different fonts. And of course, you can fill out a support ticket or call us. Final Cut Steph will be happy to help you out, as will I. Okay, so enough of that nonsense. Close that up. And of course, the only, thing, the only other thing left in this file, it would be these placeholders. And that's just so you don't have uh, blank timelines to work with. Okay, so let's jump into Premiere Pro. So uh, if you haven't already, just double click on the project file and you're good to go. Okay, so we're in this template. What? Do, oh my gosh, what am I looking at? All right, if you've never used our templates before, this is how most of them uh, appear. You're gonna load up the project file with your final output being the comp that you're looking at or the timeline that you're looking at, right? So this is the final output. Unless you're really into digging in and seeing how things are done, you don't need to mess with anything here. This is just your final output. All you have to do is highlight your movie trailer and go file, export media. That's all you'll need to do with this with this timeline. For whatever reason, people assume that they're going to drag and replace these things uh, with footage. Don't do that. They're, th these are nested comps and all kinds of other things that you're just going to destroy. So follow along with me real quick, and I'll show you how to just jam this out and be done. All right. So let's go over here to the project window. There's only a couple of things you have. What I've just shown you already, this is already loaded up when you open up the project. This is your end sequence. This is movie trailer 15. It's a 15 second movie trailer. Um, and just so you know, there's also a Final Cut version of this coming out at the same time. I, I hear Final Cut stuff right behind me, clicking away, getting crazy, and uh, I think hers is better. That's just me. Okay, so what else do we have? Well, we've got our end slate, we've got our titles, and we've got our video. Like I said before, all you have to do is uh, put in your video, change your titles, change your end slate, and hit export, right? So how do we get going? Well, let's twirl down the video thing right here, this bin. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, placeholders, one through 18. So there's 18 different places for video in this particular trailer. And that's it. And then you've got just a handful of titles. You've got a total of five titles and then your end slate. So once you configure all this, that's it. First things first though, I need a little bit of stock footage. So let's bring some in. I'm going to dig down into my bin full of Shutterstock. No, they do not sponsor me. I've paid for all of this. I just happen to really like the company and enjoy the uh, stock footage that they offer. So first things first, let's load up some stock. All right, as you can see, I've brought in a bunch of stock here. Uh, let's just get started here. Let's twirl down video like so. Let's go to video one, right? Now this right here is where video one lives. So when I go into the comp here, when I go into the timeline, let's just grab any old piece of footage and drag it on top, right? And then if I roll back, cool. So everything I drop in here trickles down to the main timeline. So it's all procedural. You drop something in, it trickles down through all the comps into the final comp. See, really, really simple. I'll do it one more time. Open up video two, just find, find your clip that you want to throw in there and throw it on top. Go back to your movie trailer, hit play. And it's going to go da 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 you see? So I'll just add a few more clips just so we get a little bit of a, of a feeling, although I have shown you the final version. But I'm just going to do one, more, one or two more clips here real quick. So that was video two, right? So let's do video three. Just find a clip that we haven't used. Go ahead and drag it on top like so. And video four. Find a clip we haven't used. Drag that on top. And let's see. If I roll that back and I hit play. 
Da -da 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 -da. Boom, boom, boom. See? Real simple. The work's pretty much done for you. All you have to do is drop in new footage and change the type. So let's go over to the titles bin right here, twirl that bad boy down, and you've got a handful of titles. So let's just double click on the first one, and it says your title. Right? So I'm just going to change this to whammy. Right? And I'm just going to center it up like so. And then when you scrub through, whammy. See that? Whammy. whammy. I'll put a video under layer 9 here so we can see. It says video 9, so let's just put a video in here so we can put some type over it. That's fine. I haven't used that yet. See? Whammy. Cool. Alright, so we all know, understand how to change type. I'm going to go ahead and go to end slate here, which I've always left open too. When you open up the, the project file, these are obviously not there. They're closed. So when you open up the project file, it'll come default to opening uh, the trailer 15. But if you click over here where it says end slate, this is your end slate. You can put a date here, a movie title here, whatever you want. Coming soon, rated R, whatever you want. And then, of course, you can change your film, the hashtag and um, your URL. There's also a room here where you can add your logos and stuff if you'd like. But I basically just broke this out. So if you turn this off, that's your URL. Turn this layer off here, that's your hashtag. And then of course, that's your main title or date or whatever you want to be uh, uh, to put there. And you're asking, and you're looking at this going, hey, why does it have a BG color? I don't see anything, I see black. Well, because I have it set to black, right? But you can just double click on it and pick any color you like. Maybe you want a red end slate. Maybe you want to do that funky greenish end slate that you see all the time. Wachaki. You can put anything you want there. Of course, you can always go back to black. Like so. Just double click on where it says end slate VG color and it's automatic, right? So let's just do that and show how it trickles down. See, it's nice and purple. And scrubbing through and you see purple goodness. Wachaki. So let's go ahead and just alter the end slate just for fun I should say good movie so if I roll it back and hit play good movie see and it's now prepply uh, so that's it I mean I mean it literally takes just a few seconds to swap out footage change the text and export and you're good to go well, that's it. That's the whole concept of our Premiere Pro project files. Download this file or any other project files that Rampant has, is offering at PremiereTemplates.net. That's right. That's PremiereTemplates.net. You can grab all kinds of Premiere Pro goodness, presets, project files, all kinds of stuff. Just check it out. And once again, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later.